Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do some proper winter warmer comfort food. I'm going to make Lancashire Hot Pot. So this is very traditional, it comes from the northwest of England and basically it's a very simple stew, potatoes, onions and mutton and liquid. Um, optionally it could have sliced lamb's kidneys and or carrots in it but I'm just doing the basic basic version because that's just totally delicious on its own. Um, so if you like this video give it a like, share, subscribe, make a donation, become a patron, all of that lovely stuff. And without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, ingredients for the Lancashire Hot Pot. I've got a kilo of potatoes, a couple of medium onions, a litre of chicken stock, some oil and some a little bit of flour, salt and ground black pepper to coat the meat with. And the meat is a kilo of mutton. Yes, your actual mutton, which is really hard to get, but I went to the local Asian shop where they have a halal butcher and um, there it was, loads of mutton. So I got half a kilo of chops and half a kilo of ready cut chunks. Some still with the bone in, which is great, and you know, lots of fat as well. Also, unfortunately, uh, all covered in bits of chopped parsley. Now, I would add parsley anyway, but I'm gonna need to scrape that off because it will burn when I'm sauteing it. So yeah, extra job. Anyway, first thing to do is prep the onions. So just, um, Top and tail your onions, chop them in half, peel them and slice them. Now you want to heat a good glug of oil in the pan. This just happens to be rapeseed oil, you can use whatever you like. Honestly, I'll let you. And we'll just pop the onions in the pan and we want them to brown a little bit. And while they're browning, I'm just going to season the flour with a load of ground black pepper. It should taste quite peppery, I think. And um, a wee pinch of salt. And I've picked all the parsley off this meat. And we just want to coat every piece in flour. Now, I don't usually do this when I'm doing a, a stew type thing, but for this one, you do want to because it'll, well, it'll develop some flavour and it'll help thicken the, the gravy. So it, it shouldn't be a really thick gravy, but it should be not watery either. Okay, onions are nicely brown, so I'm just going to get them out of the pan. And put them on a the plate, set them aside so we're ready to assemble the hot pot. And I'll just pop a bit more oil in there and uh, I'm taking bets on how long it'll take before the smoke alarm goes off. <laughs> and just pop your meat in, well about half of it, you'll need to do it in batches. Then that just needs to brown off and as well. Alright, these are all done. I've peeled the studs and now I need to slice those into a uh, slice about two or three millimetres thick. That's, you know, 3 sixteenths of an inch or something insane like that. Um, and I'm going to use the most feared device in my kitchen, the mandolin. So mandolins are marvellous, wonderful time-saving devices, but can take your fingertip off in the blink of an eye. So always, always, always use the guard. Now you want to get your oven preheated to 150 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, that's 170 for a conventional one or gas mark three. And you need a big deep casserole, casserole dish and just smear it with butter on the bottom and layer about half the potatoes in there. Just slightly overlapping. It will take a couple of layers, possibly three. And season it with salt and pepper and a, a few dabs of butter and now add the meat and some onions Whoa, this is going to be so good and the rest of the onions 
Okay, and the chicken stock. This is just made up with a, a chicken stock cube. Good old Oxo. Actually, probably need more of that. And um, the thing I forgot, Worcester sauce, except this is the Yorkshire version, Hendo's. Which is better. And don't forget the parsley that I rescued. Or, you know, chop some fresh. Actually, I'll top it up with the, the fresh stock and then top it off with the rest of the potatoes and you kind of overlap the potatoes so that they're not completely in contact with each other and they'll, they'll cook better okay uh, a few more dabs of butter a bit more salt and pepper and pop the lid on and that goes in the oven for two and a half hours And the story goes that just like the, the French pomme boulangere, you, you would take this down to your local baker and he would bake it for you for a farthing because you wouldn't have an oven at home. But I don't know why they didn't just use a crock pot or a slow cooker because you can do it in that just as easily and uh, it'll be just as great. Okay, two and a half hours is up, so we'll take it out of the oven. And, uh... oh! That's why they call it a hot pot. <laughs> that bit of meat just fell off the bone, so that's cool. Hot, <laughs> good. So now I'm just gonna turn the grill on, or the broiler, and um, put this underneath for about five, 10 minutes till it goes nice and brown and crispy. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> now then, let's um, dish it up. So the spuds on the bottom absorb lots of the lovely, tasty, juicy stuff. And the ones on the top are crispy, as you can see. And in the middle, there's all this luscious, falling off the bone, meat. And nice gravy. But it is a little bit fatty, so we have it with um, pickled red cabbage. Yes, hello, Petal. We're describing what? food. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> can I try what I hear? Yeah. Oh, it smells good. I want a poon. Could be. Or oh, play on the words. Thank you very much. <sighs> right, we, oh, taste test. Mrs. Keith Corks. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I was going to garnish it with uh, parsley. Ah. Just imagine that. I've got a couple of raspberries. <laughs> Sorry, darling. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Comfort food, this. That's the word. Yeah. That's mine. Oh, I was quite fancied that. Right. There's another bit of I know. I have to fight with it, though. It needs cutting up. Yeah, and this is another one of those ones that it's best to make too much because then you can have it again a couple of days later. Oh my goodness. And again. And again. Yeah, no complaints. Mm. I know it's a sin, but I like the fat on meat. You know, I don't it's want to sin. No, it is. It's, it's not good for you. However, once in a blue moon. So can we turn the camera off and have some dinner? Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't mind. <laughs> right, okay, that's it. Lancashire off pot. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>